They'll be calling you a radical. Fukushima breaking news. I want to talk about my march on the 28th, which is really nothing but a walk. It's not a protest. I want people to gather up this and do this all over the country, hopefully. You know, and I really don't care if three people show up or 3,000 show up. This is about consciousness. This is about conscious Fukushima awareness. That's, this changes everything. This changes everything as Occupy did so much. Occupy was a powerhouse. I said it was the sex, it was the conception. That baby's been born. That baby's starting to walk. Occupy did so many powerful things. Look, people need to be aware. Fukushima, number one. TEPCO is General Electric Westinghouse. TEPCO is the American thesis. That's who this is. Japan can't do anything without America. This has been this show has been run by the United States, the DOE, the cartel. The Department of Energy is a, their mob. It is a mob. It's worse than any freaking mob that has ever existed. They are pure evil. That is who this is. I cannot hammer this home more, and this is part of this walk in the beautiful sunshine in September around the country. It changes everything. The, the social inequities that exist all over, this is the top of the heap. How can you plan for a future? How can you plan economically? How can you build a career? How can you go to college? How can you do anything when you don't know if you're going to get cancer the next day? It, the Fukushima plume, as it's been called, Plume Gate, by the way, Patrick Henry and Shane Russell's beautiful piece, that book, I'll post it right here. <laughs> Boy, talk about provable. It is the greatest conspiracy in the history of mankind. Oh, yes. Nothing even close as this. Why? Because this isn't generational. This will grow with time. This isn't going away, all oh, the baby boomers all dying. No, 24,500 years. I call it the Pacific Genocide. It's been going into the Pacific the whole time. The media's participating in this cover-up. Because why? General Electric and Westinghouse own the media. I mean, it's very simple. I mean, who pays these? Rachel Maddow, all these people, you know, Anderson Cooper, who gives them their paycheck? General Electric, freaking Westinghouse, the same corporate board members, you know, kiss the ring, the queen, that's why I'm going to do it. In Washington Square, where things that really work, we have to come together. Look, the fallout is killing people in North America, much more than Japan. People say, oh, we got to call conscience to the people of Japan. No, 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 no. They know over there. Look. More people are dying today in Seattle, Salt Lake City, San Francisco, Los Angeles, New York, Chicago, Dallas, Georgia, Florida, than they are in Tokyo. It's where the wind blows. The wind blows like this. The jet stream is left to right. The plumes have been hammering North America. Hammer as we raise the limits. Think about this. How did we answer this question? We simply radnet. Radnet. People look up. If you don't know radnet, is look it up. Gina McCarthy, head of Rhett, now head of the EPA. Ernest Monty, this is a cartel. They run this country. This country, these are, these people have names and addresses. They, the corporate board members of General Electric, the corporate board members of Westinghouse. This is your evil cartel. These are people, these are individuals with names and addresses. This is not a protest. This is a walk to call it consciousness. I want people to use post -it. You can, go ahead, use post ignorance all you want. Just don't profit from it. This isn't about, you can use my word, pro and that's my word, that's my art movement, but it, if you want to use it to work, yeah, that's what I, it says my logo here is science fiction economics, that's mine. Dot com bubble, housing bubble, hope bubble. We have tools, we have tools to fight this back, but we have to get this in conscious, people have to think about this. Look, you can have no future, by the way, anybody who wants to go to LDS to the bone marrow transplant unit with me Thursday, the 22nd, my appointment, they took the training walls, wheels off me, as you know, June 6th. This is the longest I've went. I'm very, very nervous. I'd love to take, I have permission to take people on a field trip, but that doesn't happen. Again, the nuclear cartel owns the bone marrow transplants, Peter Gale, Eric Lacks, these propagandists. We have a list of all these people that are participating in this propaganda war machine. As they hand you a paycheck, so you think that's working for you. Go for it, go for it. When you get cancer, all your money can another minute by so true. Look, I want people to understand if you get AML like I got, it ruins your life. I, well, changes it so dramatically. I have no future. I, I live one day at a time. This kills 80% of people. I, you have to fight so hard, so spiritually in other ways. And all the cards and letters that were sent to me all over the world, that's what saved my life. The social media is, the nurses say, wow. She's like, I've never seen anything like this. 
I get cards, multiple cards from all over the world every day. I was so critical in there, fighting so hard. This treatment is brutal. This disease is so radical extreme. You're gonna die. I mean, I almost died in three weeks. I mean, one day perfectly held the boom. That's how it worked. It doesn't like, oh, go smoke some weed, it's chronic. I'm all for smoking weed if you have chronic leukemia and these chronic can I'm all for these different things. Yes, 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 but not AML in the acute extreme fashion. That's what people don't get about nuclear fallout. This mows you down and kills you so fast, you'll be perfectly healthy. You know, one radioisotope, boom, triggers it, lays on your bone marrow. We all have, my father died of disease, the nuke to death atomic veteran sent me on this path. I had a PhD in this before I got leukemia. I used to say I eat, sleep, drink it. Now I literally sleep with it. My ch Celeste at the hospital down there, you can go and verify this with me. She's the secretary, been there for decades. Kevin, she says, you're the biggest walking miracle I've ever seen walk out of here. She says, I prepared your paperwork the day you come in. I didn't expect you to live 48 hours. She says, I would have never believed it. I would have never believed it. She says, we call, they call them red tans. You were a red tan. I've never seen one walk out of here. She says, you should be, it's amazing. The story is, well, it's amazing. My walk, my post-ignorance walk, September 28th, is just to simply bring consciousness, to have conversations among people. We need to get conscious to realize that Fukushima is killing us in North America and in the United States General Electric. These so-called American companies, there's nothing American about them. They simply took our workforces and replaced them with slaves. It's worse than even the antebellum slave south. There was an economic factor there. There's no economic factor there. They just go over there. They can gather up all the slaves they want for free. You know, they don't buy and sell their slaves. They are forced into labor from birth. 37 cents an hour. That's the high price. Indonesia pays nothing. As you go to Walmart, you participate in this. We have to call this up. But the environment, if you can't walk around, suck air, eat food without giving you cancer, what do you have? And this isn't abstract, it doesn't go away. It grows and grows and grows. It's exponential. China syndrome's going on in all three. This is the greatest cover up in the history of mankind. We need Fukushima awareness. We need this. It's, I made this shirt right here. How long ago? I made this right after it happened. Am I blown away at this cover up? I cannot believe how big this cover up is. We need to just call it, not in a radical protest. Occupy did all the hard, heavy lifting for us. They did the hard work. They changed the conversation. This baby is born. Now this, we have to fight things. We have to ha become intelligent. The intellectual mobs have to come together and have ways to change this. We need to get rid of all this nuclear. This plant in Georgia can't open. We need to close down Indian Point. We need to close down Diablo Canyon. I mean, I'm so scared to death of Diablo Canyon. It makes me nervous to even sleep about it. But Fukushima's raining over North America, over you. Don't tell me all of the people of Japan. Oh, no, no. As Chernobyl, the greatest cover-up, I'll use Alice's great quote in the Battle of Chernobyl, 2006. The greatest thing to come out of that meltdown reactor at Chernobyl was not seizing, was not plutonium, it was lice for at least 24,500 years. Stay untuned.